Hi, my name is Dominic Splain from Theater Engine. And a few months ago, I wanted to try and use my iPhone XR as an external web camera. And so I ran a few tests to see what were the different settings and configurations that would work the best so that I could get the highest quality audio and video with things that I already owned. One thing that I have learned since then is that it can be really hard to figure out what is the weakest link in your chain of technology that is degrading your video and audio. What I learned is that for me, it was my computer. When I first ran the test, I was using a 2014 13 inch MacBook Pro. And even at the time, I could tell that my computer was really stressed out. You can hear the fan whirring even in the video. Finally, I upgraded and I just got a 2020 MacBook Pro 13 inch with the M1 chip. Now that I have a better computer, I wanted to run the exact same test again to see uh, which apps and which recording devices actually had the, uh, the best video quality with a better computer that can actually handle processing video in that way. First of all, for the, the kind of clean test, uh, right now I am recording with my iPhone. The microphone is the iPhone. It is not being processed by, by my computer at all. And so this is probably gonna be the highest quality video, but um, let's find out. All right, so I just opened OBS. First, I have to add the built-in MacBook Pro camera. So I'm gonna press the little plus sign here, add a video capture device, and say MacBook, okay, device is, FaceTime HD camera, there I am. Also, let's take a look at our recording settings. Output, and you can see here that it says recording quality, high quality, medium file size. So this is where you'd go to manipulate different settings for higher quality, bigger or smaller file size. But now you know what we're using for these recordings. So here we go, test number two, um, the camera, is the built-in camera on the MacBook. The microphone is the built-in mic on the MacBook, and I'm recording with OBS. And one thing I already love about the uh, MacBook with the M1 um, is that the microphone, the built-in camera, and the built-in microphone are already way better than um, what was built into my previous MacBook Pro. Um, the camera, I, I can't say it's you know that crazy much better, but um, the microphone I've been really happy with. I think it's some sort of shotgun mic. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been great. Okay, test number three. My camera is my MacBook still. The mic is the MacBook, but now I'm recording with Zoom. Um, now this isn't a pure test of Zoom as it would appear necessarily in a live stream performance or in a meeting because in that case I'm still competing with my uh, connection to the internet. But um, this is still, it's a good comparison um, for baseline recording quality, Zoom versus you know OBS, just as a comparison. Okay, so now I'm gonna head over to some of the apps that will allow me to use my iPhone as an external web camera. Note about the apps. There's a ton of apps out there and it's hard to figure out what, what's the best. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and settle on two apps. I'm going to test the Epic Cam app, which has, since the last time I did the test, uh, been bought or merged or teamed up with uh, Elgato. Elgato uh, creates all kinds of live streaming uh, software, and so I think that's a that's a bonus. Um, and I'm also going to test out the Irene app. Last time I did this test, um, I did OBS Camera as an app. Um, and I also um, have been referred to Droid Cam. I'm just gonna say really quick, um, I tried to do OBS camera uh, just now and um, I opened it up, couldn't make the connection, didn't feel like troubleshooting it, so I tossed it. Um, Droid Cam, same thing, I downloaded Droid Cam, opened it up, uh, it wasn't seeing my camera and so I tossed it too. Um, I just feel like there's so many just different choices out there. Epic Cam is a great thing. Um, and Irene is a great thing, and uh, both work with both PCs and Macs, um, so I'm just gonna stick with those. Okay, so let's go get the Irene app from the Apple iTunes Store. Here we are on the iPhone. Search for it, here it comes up. 
download it, let it download and open it up. We're good to go. All right, now we need to go download the drivers for the computer. So just type in Irian, it comes up, click on it. Look, right here, uh, webcam for Mac. I just download that. And I already have this downloaded, so I'm not gonna go through those steps. But now once it's downloaded, now I can close this window, open up my finder, go to my applications, and find Irian. Open it up, and here we go. There it is, it's connected. All right, now we wanna connect this to OBS. So we open up OBS, open our video capture device, name it Irene, hit OK, select it from here, and now it should be in this dropdown. And boom, there we go. Now we can record via the Irene app. Test number four. My camera is the iPhone. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it here for a second because you can see that the text on my whiteboard is backwards. Um, that is not a problem with the Irene app. It does have a setting that allows you to switch it so that text and things like that will appear correctly. So I'm just gonna flip it manually now because I forgot to do that when I was running the test. But it is a good thing for you to keep in mind. The microphone is also the iPhone. I'm recording with OBS. Um, and I'm connected over Wi-Fi. I have heard people tell that you can connect with a USB cable with the Irene app. I haven't been able to figure that out for the Mac. Uh, maybe that's just a PC thing. Anyway, so I'm connected over Wi-Fi um, and the app is Irene. So here's test number four. Test number five, everything is exactly the same. Um, Camera is the iPhone, only this time I changed the mic. The mic is actually the MacBook mic. Test number six. The camera is the iPhone, the microphone is the iPhone. Um, I'm recording via Zoom, and I'm connected via Wi-Fi, and the app is the Irian app. I'm not gonna do the microphone, because we already did that. Okay, so now let's go get the Epic Cam app. Here we are in the Apple App Store. And oh, look here, we have two options. Which one is which? This one says Epic Cam for computers. This one says Epic Cam for Mac and PC. Uh, which one should we do? I'm just gonna go ahead and say, do the blue one. That's what I did and it was less confusing. Uh, then I bought the 799 Pro version and it all worked out great. All right, now we just have to go get the Epic Cam drivers. I'm just gonna search Epic Cam. Look, it comes right up there, Epic Cam Elgato. And we're right there, and just a tiny little scroll. Download the drivers for my Mac. Boom, install it, and we're good to go. Next thing is just to go and uh, add the Epic Cam to OBS. So I come over here to OBS. All right, I click to add a video capture device. Okay, I name it Epic Cam so I know which one it is. It shows up right here, I select it, and that will sort itself out when I change the orientation. All right, so here's test seven. The camera is the iPhone, my microphone is the iPhone. I'm recording with OBS. I'm connected over the Wi-Fi and the app is the Epic Cam. Uh, as far as the microphone goes, let's just see. Um, I don't know if you can hear my kids playing some music, so, but now I'm gonna switch over from the, uh, my phone's mic, which is connected with the Epic Cam. I'm gonna mute that and go over to the MacBook mic. So now I'm on the MacBook mic. Uh, another uh, just comparison of the MacBook mic uh, in comparison to the, uh, <laughs> yeah, my phone's my connected to the Epic Cam. All right, now let's try Zoom. Test number eight, I think it's eight. Um, I'm using the Epic Cam app. The phone is uh, my camera's my iPhone. The mic is the iPhone, but I'm recording with Zoom and I'm connected with Wi Fi. All right, so now let's see what happens when I'm connected with the USB. Okay, test nine. So, Epic Cam app, I'm recording with Zoom. Uh, but I'm connected with USB. 
This is a good test because um, technically the fact that I'm connected with USB should be less loss of quality. But again, it depends on your computer uh, because sometimes if you're sending higher quality and your computer can't handle it, it's actually going to freeze up even more. So, uh, but let's see. So now we're, we've got the you know new MacBook M1. We're sending with USB. Um, any difference from the Wi-Fi? Yabba dabba 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 do. Final test. So my camera is the iPhone. The mic is the iPhone. That is incorrect. For this test, the mic was actually the MacBook Pro. I'm connected with the Epic Cam app. I'm connected with USB and I'm recording with OBS. <laughs> Which I said is o OSB. Just know that that is OBS. I didn't switch over and record with something called OSB. It doesn't exist. Um, all right, something else I like about Epic Cam though is I can change my recording settings. So I'm gonna go over here to the app and I'm gonna say to record at quality best. Let's see if that makes any difference. You know, I'm going back and forth. You know, I'm talking really fast. I've got a lot of things to say. Seems to be recording pretty well. I'm back on the iPhone just to bookend the comparisons. Um, final thoughts, I thought that the Epic Cam was the clear winner. I thought the Epic Cam, especially with USB and with OBS, um, looked almost as good as, good as good as it does just being recorded straight from the iPhone. So um, a note about the microphone, I did notice that the phone's microphone is more sensitive, but it catches more um, atmospheric noise, whereas the, uh, the microphone on the computer um, had more focused capture of sound from my voice, but you can tell this in the video because I manipulated a little bit. It was, it was quieter. So, um, that's just a consideration as well. Um, that's it. Good luck and, uh, have fun.